Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo. I got a fresh cup of coffee right next to me. So hey, let's kick this off. Today we're going to be talking about one of the guys in the earlier game that's going to end up being, they have the potential to be your best friend if you let them. Um, if you let them into your life, they will be with you for a long time or at least until you don't need them any longer. But yeah, hey, we're going to be discussing the Iguanodon. Some of these guys that wander around on the beach every once in a while. I saw one, yeah, he's way over there. Um, we're going to discuss how to uh, tame this guy, some of the best tactics to tame them, uh, kind of what you need, some of the cool things about them, and yeah, just exactly how you want to level them up as you're going out through Ark. Alright, so today, let's get over here. Now, the easiest way of taming these guys is uh, via the Bulla slash Trank Arrow to the Face kind of tactic. I mean, you can use a Slingshot kind of method. You could even use... Um, Oh, the wooden club method, but be careful, um, these guys bite back, so yeah, you want to make sure that, uh, yeah, if whatever you're doing, you're doing it from a safe distance. We'll just hide that poop there, foo, alright? Dude, no, no more of that on camera, alright? Not when we're talking about this. Alright, so yeah, um, you want to be careful, these guys, because they will hit you back. They're, they're not shy about it either, they're gonna smack you in the face, and it's gonna hurt a lot. Okay, so... Yeah, let's uh, go over here. Now, the easiest way to tame these guys is just with a bola method. So let's get over here. Let's see, what level are you, buddy? Oh, you're 45. Perfect. All right, so bola method. And we're going to use our patented multi-arrow technique. It's so where we've got two bows, one with trank arrows, one with regular arrows. And we're going to try to go for headshots on this guy. Bam. All right, cool. And he's out. All right, so let's get those back by walking over his face. Oh, there's still one in there. Thank you. All right, cool. So now the easiest way to tame this guy is you want to just use either vegetables or measure berries. Now, they do also take Microraptor kibble. Microraptors are something that we haven't got into in the Arc Basics. We will eventually, but unfortunately, I don't have any Microraptor um, kibble readily available. So we're going to do this with probably a little bit of... Uh, Oh, carrots, and probably some uh, measure berries, just to see which ones are the most effective on these guys. So let's go ahead over here, let's grab our crops, and grab our measure berries. Alright, and we're back. Now, um, I just want to um, clarify that it's it's always an important, um, whenever you go out taming something, or if you see something out on the, uh, on the beach that's like, hey, I could use that in my life. That right there would really help me out. Um, make sure you have a little bit of narcotics or access to some easy narco berries just in case. Because we might not need them, but we we might also need them as well. Because this torpor is kind of going down. Alright, but let's take and let's put in one. Let's put in those. See how well he goes. Yeah, 5.3. That's not too bad. All right, so we're gonna let him uh, raise up on his uh, um, on his corn, and then also we'll throw some berries on him just in case because I don't want to carry all those around. And yeah, yeah, okay, he's not gonna need any narcotics. Uh, but uh, yeah, if we we're probably going measure berries. He might need one or two because usually when I start taming um, certain dinosaurs, I'll take a look at their first bite and see exactly how they react to it, and then judge it by how fast their torpor is going down, and then you have to offset that sometimes with narcotics and that's usually how i do that i just go for the feel yeah there's some apps and stuff out there that help you do it i like to do the feel because once you uh get into this it, it's so much easier than having to rely on apps and stuff like that but although there are some pretty cool apps out there don't tell me don't uh yeah let me tell you otherwise i mean there's some pretty cool apps out there all right so yeah um now that um we're gonna get this guy tamed up now that we're doing this we're gonna look at the saddle all right <laughs> Iguanodon. All right, we've got the Iguanodon saddle. It becomes unlocked at um, level 30. Um, I'm going to go craft this thing up while this guy's taming up, and then we're going to take him out, and we're going to explain some of the stuff that he can do. Now, um, also, another thing I forgot to cover is that while these guys, while this guy right here, he was, was wandering around over here, sometimes you do have to go a little bit off the beaten path 
to find some iguanodons. Like up there in the trees, I know there's probably at least five or six of them up there. And then also up there on top of that mountain, that little hilly top up there, I know there's going to be at least one or two, maybe even three up there. And I just know this because, yeah, experience, you know. Yeah, it's led me to know that there, there are iguanodon in them that are hills. Yes, there are. All right, so I'm going to get over here. I'm going to get this saddle crafted up, which is a really easy saddle. Um, it's a lot easier than some. Uh, but yeah, all right. Give me a minute. All right, and this saddle is just crafted straight from inventory. Oh, my ichthyosaurus was killed by Megalodon. No, dude, that... Well, I didn't really need that guy. Have fun with him. All right, and make sure you chew all the bits. All right, Mr. Megalodon? Okay? But yeah, um, the Iguanodon saddle is just chew... I mean, it's just... It's just chewed directly from the... Sorry! We didn't need that ichthyo um, ichthyosaurus either. All right. Uh, so, yeah, um, the Iguanodon saddle is just crafted directly from your inventory. So, yeah, it's not like you have to have a smithy or a fabricator or anything like that. And this guy's still taming up. And we'll bring you guys back as soon as he's done. And then we'll discuss a couple really, really cool things about these guys. Because they are really cool. Especially some of the things they can do. All right, now as you're uh, taming these guys up, this guy's kind of still going. You want to make sure that you keep an eye out for uh, dillos, like over there in the distance. And then also you keep an eye out for raptors, stuff like that. Um, it, it can be advisable that if uh, you are in an unsafe location while taming these guys, that you just grab some, uh, you go craft up some quick uh, wooden fence foundations, lay them around this guy in a little box with uh, even thatch walls. We'll do it with maybe a thatched door just where you can get in. You can close it behind you, get inside, feel safe, you know, in your little hidey hole. I mean, you're really not that safe if, a, like, say, a T-Rex comes around. But still, it'll give you that feel of comfort, you know, and it'll avoid, it'll let you know when the raptor's beating down the door. And also, um, you might be able to avoid a little bit of uh, um, aggro if something gets a little bit too close because they can't see you. So, yeah, um, that'll help out a little bit, but... Yeah, it's uh, generally right here on the beach. It's pretty safe, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, if I was in a more dangerous spot, I would totally be worried about it. All right, Andy's up, and I'm just not even going to name him anything because, you know, maybe I'll just call him... Yeah, let's uh, change his name, and we'll just call him uh, Coffee Dude, which reminds me I need to take another drink of my coffee. Mmm. All right. So, hey, now that we've got this guy up, let's take a quick look at his stats. Now, their stats are not going to be extremely impressive, um, no matter what level you get. Sometimes you can actually, as you get into higher levels, yeah, you can get some really good health stats and stuff like that. Now, this guy right here, he's pretty, he's pretty average for uh, his level. All right, he's got 550 health, uh, 400 stamina, uh, 435 weight. These guys generally have a really good weight stat for how low you can tame them and put a saddle on them. So you want to make sure that uh, um, if you get one that has really low stamina, you might I'm really low weight, you might have got a not so good one. Go out and tame another one. Compare the difference between the two. All right, now here, let's throw a saddle on this guy, and then let's get up here because there's a couple different uses I want to discuss. These guys. Now, um, here, first off, let's go. All right. Just a left click attack. He gives you the big thumbs up and he jabs people with these spikes. That is his regular attack. And his right click, it goes into a different mode. And I'll discuss that mode here in just a little bit. And then his C attack gives this kind of like little roar. I don't think there's any use to that C attack other than making it look cool and getting a decent screenshot. All right, so yeah, all right. Now um, let's discover, let's discuss the right click um, oh ability here for a sec. Now you see that when we're down here like this, he's on all fours, running around like this on the beach. Now if you look up in the top right, as opposed to every other dino in Ark, his stamina stat is not moving. It's not going down, which makes these guys kind of have a superpower for lower level. Um, adventures wanting to uh, go really fast and cover a lot of ground because these guys can run long distances without having to stop even a single time. It is really cool. Now, unfortunately, they don't have a jump to them, but other than that, I mean, these guys are really awesome if you want to go long distances because he's not draining any stamina whatsoever. Now, when we go into right click, now he goes up like this. Now, this is where he attacks. 
And you'll notice that if we're down like this and we press uh, um, left click, he'll immediately go up into this stance because he can't attack in his running stance. But um, up like this, he does move a little bit slower and yes, his stamina is lowering. So that's the kind of a thing you want to keep an eye out. But learning how to toggle between these two, it's really easy, it's really effective, and it'll really help you uh, cover lots of ground. All right, now let's go into a little bit of the builds that you want to do while you're leveling up these guys, depending on how you want to have your um, Iguanodon as you raise it up. Now, let's open up the stats. Okay, wrong button. All right, let's open up the stats. Now, when it comes down to raising these guys up, say if you want like a uh, something to help you fight off some Dillos, stuff like that, early game stuff, what you want to be raising up is I'd say probably about half of your points you want to put into health. Because they need to be able to take a beating. The um, I would say another... Probably about every fourth one, you'd probably want to put into melee damage. While the other um, one compared to that is stamina. So uh, every two out of four points go into health. One out of four points go into stamina. One out of four points go into um, melee damage. That'll make a nice, effective little tank guy for you. That'll kind of... They'll help you out along the way as you're going through the game. All right, let's go into wrong button again. All right, so let's go into the next one. All right, now if you say if you want to get like a big pack mule, something like that, you want to go mostly weight. I would say every for every five levels, you want at least three levels in weight, so where you can get this weight stat really kicking, and then the other ones in just the health. Because if he's just going to be carrying a bunch of stuff for you, you want to make sure that the stuff that when he dies, you don't have to recover all this stuff because you're not going to be be able to carry all that stuff. If he has his weight stat completely pumped up to say like a thousand, yeah, you're not going to be able to carry all that if he dies. And you're probably not going to be riding him. You're probably going to be riding something else. But you want to make sure he can take a beating. So that's really good for um a, a pack mule, so where he can you know just health and weight. Yeah. All right, but. Say if you want to go for a long distance runner. Now, this is a one that um, I kind of highly recommend if you want to go for a long distance runner. I would say out of every five levels he gets, four of those go into movement speed, one of those go into health. You want to make sure that you can take the stray swoop from a, a T-Rex or something like that while you're running along, but you want to make sure that you can go super, super fast. Now, these guys, they kind of level up their uh, movement speed a little bit fast. I mean, he goes up to um, 2% every single um, click we give him, all right? Which means that he can get going really, really fast. Yeah, I mean, say, if he's level, uh, I mean, if you advance him probably about 50 levels, that means that you can get him up to about 200% movement speed. So he's running twice this speed. Yeah, these guys will go so far across the island for you so far across ragnarok for you they'll be able to take you just about anywhere now another cool um, thing with these guys they are pretty decent early game berry gatherers and not just berry gatherers i mean while they do get a lot of berries really quick they're not as good as say like a trike or something like that but they will be able to get you some quite a bit of thatch quite a bit of berries all sorts of stuff like that but Another thing they can do, another really cool thing, is this right here. They can seed the fruit in their inventory. See how this guy, he's got a ton of berries? All right, let's just throw away all these seeds just for demonstration purposes that he's already got in there. Get rid of the wood. Uh, you know what? Let's just get rid of all this stuff right there. Bam. All right, so we've got all this stuff right there. Let's get rid of the stem berries. Okay, so now we're going to go up here and we're going to seed fruit in inventory. And he'll just do this little, you know, hand pick thing. And then... All of these berries, all of these berries that he had in his inventory, and before I had to sneeze, um, all of these berries, he just converted into seeds for us. Now, these seeds actually have a really cool use, all right? Now, these things right here, here, let me show you. All right, here, let me run around. Now, I've been purposely, as you've, uh, as we've been recording this video, I've been purposely not eating anything. Yeah, come on, buddy. All right. So now we're going to get ourselves really low on food. All right, we've got 1.9. We're completely out of food. So now I'm going to put these down on my hotbar. And I'm just going to press this um, button. So where we eat the entire thing of uh, seeds. And then our food is going to go up by one point per seed we eat. So for every stack of seeds you eat, that's 100 food. It is very cool. And also, one of the things with these things is there's no spoil timer on these. 
Seriously, there's no spoil timer on seeds, all right? And now each of these seeds, each stack only weighs one pound. It's pretty impressive. Yes, as compared to like a stack of cooked meat, uh, one stack weighs uh, 30. Well, granted, each stack of cooked meat um, will fill up your uh, um, food bar six times if you're on uh, normal food because it takes five meat per one and it stacks up to 30 but still these things are great in a pinch just to carry around when you're say going into uh um like caves or long journeys just carry around a few stacks of these yeah they'll clog up your inventory but yeah the food on these things is quite cool it's really amazing and it's very effective for getting all of your seeds and also you see how it also turned our long grass directly into seeds which is kind of unfortunate but still it's a great way to actually build up a bunch of these seeds if you want to plant up a bunch of your crops so you can take you can grow up one and then you don't have to worry about finding any more you can plant up a whole garden full of uh long grass it's pretty cool all right, so hey, that right there, I think, is going to cover most of the uh, um, stuff about the Iguanodon. These guys are really cool, and they're really great, especially if you can get one as soon as you hit level 30. It is really effective, and they will take you just about anywhere you want on the island. I would say they're better than Parasaurs when it comes to the early game for having a nice, fast mount. If you can get one early on, right when you can unlock the saddle, tame it, get the saddle on it. These guys will be great. They'll they will uh, help you uh, grow up. They will grow up along with you, and they'll just be your buddy for a long time until you finally get into uh, um, getting a kibble farm and getting uh, needing their eggs, and then they can go inside there while you move on to better, bigger, and better dinos. But then again, a nice, well-leveled iguanodon. Say if you can find a max level 151, tame it up, uh, tame it with micro raptor kibble. These guys would be, uh, a perfect tame one would be really, really good. All right, so hey, I hope the video helped you out. Um, if you like the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. Um, if you're new around here, subscribe. I've got all sorts of basic stuff coming out, beginner's guides. I've got lots of uh, Let's Plays um, for ARK and other games. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.